Hi, I'm Dr. Rick Knapp, director at the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida, and we issue forecasts and warnings on a large scale for what de tropical depressions, storms, and hurricanes are out there, especially the ones that are land-threatening. You are absolutely vulnerable no matter where you live in the state of South Carolina to some hazard from a tropical storm or a hurricane. Some systems have passed to the south and west, some have passed to the north or east, but one of these days it's going to go in between and South Carolina will be struck again. It's a matter of when, not if. The key is knowing what hazards you are vulnerable to. And you are vulnerable in South Carolina in coastal areas to the storm surge, and that's not just a beach problem. That water can go some distance inland from the immediate coastline. Again, that's why you need to find out if you live in a storm surge evacuation zone. But you also have to realize that winds can be strong not just at the coast, but extend far inland. And the flooding due to inland rains can cause immediate flash flooding, and then days after the fact can cause river flooding. So we are vulnerable in South Carolina in so many ways. It is never too early to be preparing for hurricanes. It can be in January, May, August. You always need to be reassessing whether or not you have your full preparedness plan in place. And so you primarily want to focus on doing whatever it is your local emergency managers tell you to do because they have planned for this. They know what areas are vulnerable. They have evacuation routes all planned out. They have shelters planned out. Preparing ahead of time greatly increases your chances of surviving the storm and getting through the very nasty, potentially lengthy aftermath.